This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue to discuss tables. If you'd like to follow along, go under the File menu to Open, and in the Sample Files folder, scroll down to 1104, the secret to using table styles, and just click Open. Table styles are absolutely incredible for setting up lots of tables quickly and with total consistency, but they're not the easiest feature in the world to figure out, unless you know the secret, of course. You need to think of table styles as kind of like nested paragraph styles, but instead of character styles nested into your paragraph styles, it's cell styles nested into the table styles. And there's paragraph styles that are nested into the cell styles. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. Let's create our first cell style. But to get started, you need to go under the window menu to styles and choose cell styles. Creating a cell style is very similar to setting up a character style. First, I'm going to go to the left side of the header. And when I get the right turned arrow, I'm just going to click to select the header. Now, to create my first cell style, I'm going to go under the Options menu of the panel to New Cell Style. And I'm going to name it Header, just to keep things simple. And I need to nest a paragraph style into my cell style so it will actually format the text as well. So I'm going to click down on the pop up and choose Table Header as my paragraph style. All I need to do now is just click OK. It's actually picking up all of the formatting already. Next, I'm going to select one of these yellow cells. Just click and drag across it until the entire cell is selected. To create the next cell style, I'm going to go under the Options menu to New Cell Style. And I'm going to name it Body Cell. And for the paragraph style, I'm going to choose Table Body and click OK. For the next style, I'm going to select the footer just by clicking on it from the left side of the table and just go under my Options menu to New Cell Style and name it Footer. And for the Paragraph Style, I'm going to choose Table Footer and click OK. I have one last cell style to create. I'm just going to select one of the cyan colored cells. And I'm going to go under the Options menu to New Cell Style. And I'm going to call it Left Column. For Paragraph Style, being that the text is formatted in the same way as the body, I'm going to choose Table Body and click OK. So now I have all of the cell styles. To create the table style itself, I'm just going to click from the upper left hand corner of the table to select the whole thing. Go to my table styles and just click down on the options menu and select new table style. Now for the fun part. I'm just going to name it table. Of course, I would get more exact than that if I had more than one table style. But for header rows, I'm going to choose header, my header cell style. For left column, I'm going to choose left column. For footer rows, I'm going to choose footer. For right column, I'm going to leave that the same as the body. For body rows, I'm going to choose body cell. And now all I have to do is hit OK. So we now have a table style. And just to see that it is working, why don't we scroll down to the next page. Select our table just by going to the upper left corner. And you can see this is totally unformatted. I'm just going to click on the table style and boom. It's done. Looking pretty good. We're going to continue to discuss tables in the next lesson.